So, here we are, back on the big pond, all loaded up in the boat. Got Padwar in his little hole. Looking forward to it, mate. It's my absolute favourite time of year. We've just had the autumnal equinox, which is a bit of a mouthful. Um, just getting into autumn. Lake's looking better. It was a horrible green for months, but it's still green, but it's not as bad as it was. I'm roping them old carp are getting their heads down. Got everything we need for free night session. You've got a spare can of dog food as she gets hungry. Extra hungry. And we're headed off into the wild blue yonder. On search for them there carp. And that lot is only about, I don't know, 40% of it. Not even that. No, nowhere near that. Lots of searching. We've got three big batteries. No one under that lot. I'm determined. Going to find carp. Going to catch carp. So, here we go. I'll speak to you lot later. Well, I finally got myself settled in a plot. Can't say I've seen any carp yet, though. Got the first leaves of autumn all over the surface. Looks nice. Certainly going to see them if they do jump out there, because it is as calm as it could possibly be. You don't tend to see a lot in the sort of afternoons, evenings anyway, really, on it. Get myself a nice early night and be up at, well, about an hour before light. That's when you see them, just as it's getting light. Hopefully, I'll have picked well. It does look good. Apart from them things. Jumbo jets. But no, sort of half confident. Confident as I can be without seeing anything anyway. Rods are out. Been fed. Chill out time. So, look at that lot. It would appear I picked well after all. The dog isn't, isn't actually stuck in there waiting to take a photo. I know it looks like it. Pepper, pet. He's there. Just got up. We have a mat ready. It's been a very, very wet night, and uh, I've just caught myself a lovely 24 pound common. Let's get doing. Quick look at that. There he is. Excuse the obscene lights, but it's so dark and dingy. They cracked on. 24 pounds, fighting fit common. Lovely job. <laughs> I like them all too. It's a proper solid thing as well. It really is. It's been on the lunch. It's gorgeous. You're a pretty boy, aren't you? Yes. Uh, still a little bit on the wet side. Rain all night. It's just a lot lighter now. I don't care because I've got a fish. Result. Right, pop him back. We'll have a little chat later. Cup tea first. Alright, alright, you're going home. You're going home. Let's go. Cool. 
Voilà. Let's go off for a little wander. It's a little bit I'm fishing on, it's got about four swims on it. Some of them are only tiny, but gives you different spots to look at different parts of the lake, which is handy. Gonna break my neck. Come on dog, get out of the way. Go, do something. Really bramble. Right, so here we are. Got myself a custom built low chair. Look. <laughs> Good old green garden chairs. Leave them in the bushes. Island just there. This is one of the many sort of channels through. This is the bit I call the railway lake. Through that channel to the right there. There. You've got sort of loads of central channels and then that goes through another gap. It goes two different ways. You've got the West Lake which is huge various annexes tucked away on the back. A lot of water to search. Like I say, I got something right last night because I've caught myself that lovely common this morning. It's nice to be back down here to be honest. <coughs> Been so busy lately. <coughs> Excuse me. I had four weeks filming um, for that uh, Cart Wars and what else? I've got the book, just launched my new book, Fine Lines. And that's been loads of work to be honest. Not only the writing of it but um, sort of getting it out there, doing I've got eight book signings lined up, I've done two of them already various tackle shops every Saturday um, I'm probably going to do some more after that move, go a bit further up north obviously we've got all the shows coming up as well soon the first one's November, sand down done myself a new website with a bit of help my mate Stan um, been selling the books on that as well trying to get a bit more content on there it's uh, www.davelane.co.uk Nice easy one to remember. So I've been looking after that as long as well as the normal social media. Um, added to all my normal stuff and my writing and what have you. I've been busy as hell. It's all good. Just glad to see the book done to be honest. Like out there, it's lovely when it, when I first went down there and saw a big pile of them all done, all looking smart, the covers fantastic, I love it yeah, it's very rewarding it's nice when you get feedback off people as well, we started reading it now, there's quite a few copies out there and people are sort of getting through it and putting nice comments up, which is lovely makes it all worthwhile and I've caught a carp and I'm back. Not seen any though, that's a bit disturbing. Not seen a single cart since I got here, apart from the one in the net. You wonder what they're doing this time of year, they usually show quite well I don't know about on here, but every lake I've ever fished they start showing well at this time of year. There is a tendency as you get into autumn though for fish to show it in the night um, and you got to sleep sometime but I didn't hear any last night I woke up a few times I got up about 3 o'clock I think sat there had a cup of tea had about I was probably up for about an hour hour and a half and I was up again 
just on light when I had that fish. But no sightings yet. Right, what we're trying to do here is um, recover from a barbecue disaster. It rained all night, I left my barbecue cold out, and it's gone down. It's those bags that you just light them and boom, away they go. But there was no boom. I lit it, there was a fizzle, and it just all stopped. So I've been out in the woods, everything's drenched from the rain. I've managed to find some standing wood, stuff that's like been hung in the trees, standing upright. We've always got to look for white wood because white wood's completely and utterly dead. It's usually quite hollow in the middle, so it's your best chance. I ain't got a lot of chance, but that's my best chance. So, a couple of toilet rolls, a few of these sticks, hoping to get it going. Normally, light the corner of the bag, boom, away it goes. Today, no I'm not eating raw pork chops. So we shall see. You remember being here before once or twice. Yeah, I couldn't believe it when I went to get a coal out. Saw it there under the tree, in this here bag, which is absolutely drenched. Lid wide open. About 12 hours of rain, I've got on a gold. I think we have a averted disaster. Dinner might be once again on the menu. burn off all the um, horribleness that's been happening. The slug and the rat and the mouse and everything else that crawls over your barbecue when you're asleep. Well this is looking good. Can't really go wrong can you? Pound and a half of pork. Half a pound of stir fried vegetables. And a cold cider. You know, it's a little finger there. It's a sign of sophistication. Apparently. Or rheumatism. One or the other. This is cool, can you? This thing is about an inch and a half thick, that one. while I sat over there thinking, I might get some of that. <laughs> no chance. His dad's on a meat diet. And that's what I'm going to eat. Yum, yum. Even there, I think show. Pretty it up a bit, add a bit of colour. These are the star of the show. Sizzling stir fry. Look at him. Try and get some focus going. Food fit for a king or if not king, me at least. Right. Yum. See you later.
morning. That was a pretty unproductive night on the search for carp already. This is a little bay behind where I've been fishing. Everywhere's dead flat calm. Look at all them cormorants. That island out there is, um, or was, this one sort of here, a heronry. Earlier in the year there was hundreds of herons, but it's been completely taken over by this lot. There's cormorants, there's just thousands of them out there. All squabbling at night for somewhere to sleep. And we take off about this time of the morning. Go and do whatever cormorants do. Nick fish. But yeah, whole lake's very, very calm. I haven't seen a single fish. I had one of them mad catch-up nights last night. It seemed to be able to survive on about four or five hours of sleep for weeks on end. And then last night I fell asleep at eight o'clock after my mammoth meal. About two pound of food inside me. And uh, woke up at seven this morning. <laughs> so somehow I managed to sleep for 11 hours. Always feel a bit guilty, don't you, when you're fishing? You think, what have you missed out on? Sometimes you just got to catch up. I certainly didn't get woken by any alarms. Have a look out the other side. Go on, Pads, get out of the way. Go on. Safe. Dead flat calm everywhere. I saw something that was a possible right over the other side last yesterday evening, about tea time. But uh, nowhere near definite. I think it might be time to go and have a look at the West Lake. I haven't really fished the West Lake much in the last few sessions. They were there a lot earlier on, but then they seemed to desert it. But we're looking this dead, there's a good possibility they might be back out there. <coughs> Off we go for the daily wonder. Well, I know the way, didn't you? You know the way, go on. Lovely round here, proper overgrown. He likes it because it's full of muntjac. Well, I'm road here. We were in the boat the other morning, coming down a little back channel, and uh, I heard something behind me, and I turned around and looked. And there was a full-size row deer swimming down just across this channel, about 20 yards from the boat. I tried to get him to see it, and he just couldn't. Every time I said, "Gee, oh, there he is! Look at that!" He was looking up in the trees for the squirrel. Literally 20 yards behind the boat, and as it saw me, it turned around this way, Pads. It saw me and uh, turned around, went back to where it had come from, and climbed out on an island. And as it did so, I thought, "I've got this camera phone in my pocket." It would have been the perfect shot, the little mist coming off the water, it looked beautiful. Uh, I only thought of it the second it disappeared. It's all so swept up in the moment. An opportunity missed. Might find some lake in a minute if we're lucky. What are you seeing? Is it that squirrel? Is it? Get that squirrel. <laughs> he loves it. He's gone. Right, I'll see you in a minute when we find some water. It's a good job he's here because somehow, I don't know how, I managed to get lost then. 
One minute I was walking down a path, a sort of path, and the next minute I was at a dead end surrounded by bushes. Good old pad boy came back to get me. I don't know which way he's gone now. <whistles> nope, there he is. Follow the dog. Good job you know where you're going, mate. Huh. See some lake. Some there. And some more in there. Not a lot yet, but I can see water. Oh bugger, just remembered something really important. There's a locked gate at the end of this path that I need to get through and I've left the key in my bivvy. That ain't a good move Laney, not a good move at all. It's very very poor angling. bit up here, this is what they call a village bay. A bit behind me, we just saw is the Coop Bar Bay. This bit's affectionately known as Creek. And through there and turn right you've got the West Lake. Or through there past the Swan and turn left you've got the West Lake. Which disappears way off into the distance. Right, I'm going to go back and get the key. See you later. Well, me and Padua are back from our travels. We've done the whole lake. And the only thing of interest I've seen is this. Great big fry up. I'm going to nosh that, have a cup of tea, and then go and do it all again. Because we saw nothing. Absolutely bugger all. Typical big pit session. One minute you're on them, next minute they're gone. Right, I'm gonna eat this. Ta-da. Look at that, we're a dead flat calm lake. Dragon pads. Certainly going to see them if they jump today. Unfortunately, they don't seem to be in a very jumpy mood. I think I've seen one possible carp jump since I've been here. Two nights in. Any definite I've seen was in the bottom of the net. Where are they now? Where are they now, Padwell? Hmm? You don't care, dear. Do All you care about is the squirrels. Somewhere. It's going to take one decent sighting.
a lot on show. Well, here it is, my final morning. And unfortunately, no more carp to show for it. As you can see, it's a little bit misty, high pressure. Yesterday afternoon was scorching. It's not really the sort of autumnal weather I was hoping for. The carp have done what these carp always do and just disappeared. I had a couple of the lads, Matt and Liam, round for Barbie last night. Well, we've sat here discussing them and uh, they're strange fish some days they're so locatable and just obvious showing and doing what big quick carp normally do and then they just disappear a week, two weeks as if there's not a fish in it I haven't seen a single fish very very odd There's always a list of fishermen's excuses, isn't there? And I think mine at the moment is weather. We need some low pressure, we need some big winds, we need autumn to come. It's all well and good sitting here without your shirt on all day getting a suntan, but that don't help the cause. And I'm going to go and have another look in the big bit of the West Lake before I go just in case one shows but when they're in this no showing mood they really stick to it rigidly it's just there's like no tent rolling nothing but I'll be back next week got a book signing down in Norwich at Angling Direct this Saturday and then uh, Wolf and Cross the week after, Tackle Box the week after that. That's my weekend's done. And then Monday morning, I'll be back up here. Hopefully, it won't be quite as calm, quite as high pressure, and quite as devoid of carb. But I've had one anyway. I've had a fish, so that's the result. Oh, lens is steaming up, kettle's boiling tea time well here we go the end of another session only one fish unfortunately but one fish better than no fish Papa's ready for home aren't you set off for the car park but we will return see you all next time ta -da.